This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, it's all about the top of the range Nissan Navara Pro 4X. We check out its styling, performance, carrying capacity, and of course evaluate it against the likes of the Ford Ranger Wildtrak and the Toyota Hilux GR. Catch this and much, much more only on Cars with Big Boy Trev this Sunday at 5 p.m. only on NTV. Welcome to Kazi Big Boy Trev Extra. My name is Big Boy Trev. It's all about the news and reviews from across the world. Our fastest item comes from the world of pain protection. The non British pain protection giant Diamond Bright has partnered with Cyrag Limited to offer pain protection services locally. So, what's Diamond Bright all about? Check out this feature. It's a two stage paint protection system, meaning you'll never have to polish your car again. Creating a high gloss protective skin that protects against paintwork pollutants like acid rain, road salts, bird lime, insect liquids and tree protection sap. Protection even extends to the interior of your car. Get peace of mind for either fabric or leather interiors. Technicians will apply the special interior coating on your car's seats and carpets that ease the removal of stains and protects against drink spills, dirt and grime, mucky pets and even denim dye on leather seats. We are expected to bring to you the exciting partnership between Diamond Bright from the UK and Cyrus Limited Kenya as the official distributors of the products in Kenya and the entire East African region. As we heard from both Mr. David Evans and David Bailey, Diamond Bright is dedicated to uphold the same principles of quality, innovation and customer satisfaction. Diamond Bright Kenya is a subsidiary of Cyrus Limited and will represent Diamond Bright products and give you a 10-year warranty on product application backed by Diamond Bright UK. Visit Cyrax Limited along Mombasa Road for more details. Welcome to Kaze Big Butter social media segment. We give you the opportunity to speak of what you've seen on the show and how we can improve CBBT. We go to Facebook and of course the first person on our list is Moses Gishuki and he says CBBT for the Everest World Track is good and in terms of power it's also okay. However, it feels like it has high fuel consumption. Trevor loved the inside view of it and its infotainment, though in terms of exterior design, I haven't liked it as much. In terms of value for money, I think the price of the 570 Lexus on the Land Cruiser LC300 is a question that Ford needs to see. Well, thank you so much for that feedback. I know the prices are actually high, but it's because of the dollar. But again, if you look at the competitive value of this particular product, I think the Ford Everest Oil Track is value for money. Now we go to a second person, Sean Trevor, and he says that Everest is very cool. As Santa Sana, I had a fun time driving and experiencing this particular car. Now our last person is Humphrey Cam Kagwi. The highlight of this particular show was the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. We can't wait to see it in Kenya. Well, I'd just like to give you some heads up that this particular product will be landing on our shows in the next month or so. So keep it as a big boy, Trev, to give you the exclusive review of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much for giving us all these feedback sections. If you have any comments, questions, or queries, don't hesitate to write to us as seen on the social media handles below. We'll get back to the feedback next week. Up next, it's all about the Nissan Prof X, courtesy of CBBT. In our ongoing series of determining the best value pickup in the market, we take a closer look at the all-new top-of-the-range Nissan Navara Pro 4X. The question is, will it manage to fight it out with the likes of the Toyota Hilux GR and the Ford Ranger Wild Track? Let's find out. Now, this is the key to Nissan Navara's top-of-the-range spec, the Pro 4X, and its prices starting from Kenya shillings 9 million. You reckon it's got the guts and the balls to beat the likes of the Toyota Hilux GR or the Ford Ranger Wildtrak. We start this review by taking a look at the design face of this particular vehicle, and I can tell you, my oh my, look at that front. There is nothing as beastly, as bold as this Pro 4X Navara. Nissan have done their design team, have done an amazing job redesigning this particular car. That front face, just imagine driving and looking at it. I mean, this massive triangular, it's trapezoidal actually, and it's got the words Navara emblazoned on it. It's blacked out, honeycomb grille, and of course corresponds with the lower lip. 
give you this custom thank you very much massive big squared out lights and of course your wrap around you can see the daytime running lights and of course they are full leds so it illuminates the road as you traverse a beautiful country of kenya thank you very much clamshell bonnet well designed to give this car a butch and aesthetic feel and of course you have a wrecked out windscreen to improve aero efficiency and that impacts heavily on your fuel consumption which we're going to talk about much, much later. So all these symbols and together use this car that Jeanne Sequa, which I do love. But how does the side correspond? Let's move to the side and have a look at the design face of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. Now looking over to the side profile, I can tell you for a fact that whole edgy design has been brought to the side profile. What do you see? Clamshell bonnet and of course this budged out fender. You have this black edge on the fender giving this car some off-road credentials with this reflector and this black on black theme corresponds also with the rims the tires are actually uh bridgestone dwellers and i can tell the 17 inch they're very good all terrain they allow you to go both on and off-road with proper traction when you move to the passenger cell as well you have this blacked out door mirror with side repeater lamps and of course beneath it is the 360 degree camera that allows you to see the surroundings of the car quite easily you have side steps here as well for Moshimiwa and you have this uh, roof rail which is also black on black so you can see the theme black on black on the Pro 4X makes it a really cool car to be in blacked out uh, door handles as well and you can see here blacked out window seals in the lower part of the chrome giving this car some premium look and feel moving over to the cargo bay area you can see the wheel as well also perforated with this black cladding the reflector making this car have an off-road look and feel for me that is important but how good is the rear? Let's move to the back and see the design face of the rear of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. The first thing that you do notice is the design cue of this Nissan Navara. You can tell from the tailgate there's some aerodynamics that has gone into play. You've seen this large Nissan logo with the red. The red denoting that this is a proper vehicle. It's a black on red. So it's a theme that goes around with the Pro 4X. You've got this color-coded bumper as well. And you do have the rear reverse light remember there are four cameras around the car to show you what the car is doing in any surrounding situation and you have the words navara emblazoned on the tailgate and it's a four by four you're gonna test out much much later for you to open it's an easy open tailgate again i think i've locked it from the other side but basically on the previous video i showed you what you can do massive carrying capacity close to 1.2 tons tie down hooks and of course you have this bed lining to prevent the lining of the cargo area to rust but that is just the beginning it's time for us to jump in and see the design of this particular nissan navara pro 4x so guys you've seen from the walk around the design perspective of the nissan navara pro 4x it's tough it's butch but the biggest question is how good is the interior so we step inside and the first thing you do notice is this forward cab design the dashboard has been placed further away to create an illusion of space even big boy the big time is very comfortable behind the wheel of the nissan navara pro 4x and of course the highlight of this particular uh, dashboard is this massive 10 and a half inch multicolor display with this kind of functionality number one it actually supports apple carplay and android auto basically extending the functions on your phone to the screen ensuring you're able to literally call meetings do zooms every single thing that you can do on your phone is able to be done on this particular multimedia interface without taking hands off the wheel so it creates an illusion of safety number two music if you love music then this particular navara has the best of the sound systems you can ever get so nissan normally employs bose system i can tell you the sound six speakers surround sound in this navara is nothing but amazing you're able to stream music via spotify because you're mirroring your phone to the screen so you're able to wirelessly connect to spotify and listen to your favorite tunes you're able to also listen from bluetooth if your phone has music you're able to pair with this particular system and listen via this mighty mighty sound system and of course usb so sound is good so everybody will enjoy the sound of the nissan navara apart from that it has native maps which have been installed by nissan's called tracks for africa but also because you're doing android auto android auto also supplies the maps of this particular vehicle quite easily in this nissan navara so this system is good you've got a 360 degree camera which actually allows you to see the surroundings of the car if you're in 4x4 mode you're able to see around and of course if you're approaching any obstacle then the reverse camera will actually give you uh, all the details of what's happening around 
the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. So right below it, you have the dual zone climate control. So the passenger, the driver can operate their temperatures separately, ensuring the cabin is cool and calm. So imagine if you're in Mombasa and it's extremely hot, you're able to drop down the AC to have that chilly waft air coming through the vents. And of course, if you're in Limuru or somewhere it's very hot, very cold, you can crank up the heater and this particular cabin transforms. And also the rear passengers also have vents over here to ensure that the cabin is cool, calm, any given time in any situation in any kind of weather now right below it you do have also um 12 volt socket as well you can power your devices on the go you do have the switch on the fly 4x4 system which i'll talk about it later but basically it allows you to toggle from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive and then select follow in case you are in a place where you need a lot of traction You're able to do that hill descent control also comes the standard obviously over here you do have a place you can place your cell phone i think the space here is very little but at your, your average cell phone will fit you have a usb port and of course an auxiliary if you are a person with an iphone or an ipod for those who are ancient like me now right here is the millennial anti-theft device commonly referred to as the gear shift manual so basically this is a six-speed manual on the Pro 4X that I'm going to drive later, it's a seven-speed automatic. It allows you to explore the full potential of that 2.5-liter turbo diesel engine on 40 kilowatts, 450 newton meters of torque. And of course, the price sent the four-wheel courtesy of this four-wheel drive system and many other things. So of course, this is a pickup. Uh, practicality is the name of the game. So you have two cup holders. You have blank buttons. You can actually select some of the things you want to do. Uh, but in some other markets, you'll find... Um, it's called the exhaust regeneration you can press that to clear the dpf of the car but because kenya don't have dps then it's a blank switch um you have a center console here you can hide your uh you know your wallet your keys and something that is very personal you can hide it here but the most important thing is the instrument binnacle which is right here so you have two big dials so left hand side you have the tachometer right hand side you have the speedometer in between you have a monochrome display that gives you vital information of what's happening in the car so your temperature your engine uh, if the doors are locked service intervals everything that you need is on, on that center console i love the steering wheel as well three spoke very very uh you find it probably in the new in the new x -trail and the new Pathfinder. Love the fact that it's it has got satellite buttons. The left hand side controls everything to do with this particular system. On the right hand side is the adaptive cruise control. So you have so many functionalities. You can actually cancel and make calls and do voice control, which is standard in the Nissan Navara. I love the fact that this car has been designed in such a way that it is, you know, practical enough and many things are able to be able to access all the buttons from a stretch of your hand. They have thought about this car economically but let's talk about the seating big boy is big i'm six foot one um i can tell the seats have been contoured to ensure that anybody of any size is able to fit quite comfortably this seat is electrically powered this one is manually powered but if you want to adjust yourself properly then you can adjust the steering wheel is tilt and telescopic to ensure that you're able to fit be it a short or tall man or lady driving this particular pickup is good i love the visibility the air pillars are minimal so that you're able to see all around I love the large mirrors you can see around what's happening in the car. It allows you to drive this car comfortably both on and off. But how good is the back seat? Let's move to the back seat of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. So moving over to the back seat and I can tell you there's plenty of space in the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. I remember back in the day when pickups used to be just benches, this would be a very uncomfortable affair being at the back of a double car. But now, Nissan have enhanced the space of this particular Nissan Navara. And I can tell you for a fact, I am very, very comfortable. This seat has been placed to my height, six foot one. I am here, so I have plenty of leg room and headroom. So anybody who's bigger than myself will actually find this particular pickup quite comfortable. It sits three people very comfortably at the back. And of course, you have headrest to ensure that you're very comfortable. You have groups if you're going off-road and of course you have safety equipment like safety belts here which are critical you have isofix anchors to ensure that you're able to place your baby seats quite comfortably and that's the best place to keep your baby but in case all the hell breaks loose then you can rely on the six airbags the cutting airbags that run across the whole cabin to ensure that your head and thorax are protected while in the nissan pro 4x in case you're only sitting two people then you are able to detract the seat hold on becomes an armrest, you have two cup holders quite easily, you have airline cell pockets to keep your stuff quite safely like your iPad and you do have a charging port over here 
So actually you can charge your device on the go while in the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. So it's a pretty comfortable space. I love the pattern, the design. It's, it's a hexagonal stitch, contrast stitching. That is a signature of the Nissan Pro 4X. I love the fact that they have thought about every single thing about this particular cabin. It's spacious, it's stylish, it's very practical. I even see the vents are over here. But how good is the loading capacity? Let's move to the back and see the cargo capacity of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. The back of this particular Nissan Navara Pro 4X, I can tell you for a fact, it's got plenty of space. It actually has the largest loading bay of its class. So in terms of carrying capacity, the legally required amount is one ton, but it can actually be 1.2 tons. If you open here, it reveals plenty of space. So what Nissan have done is actually line the bed of the loading area with this material that ensures that there's no rust, especially when you're carrying stuff across the country. You can actually have also a tonneau cover. You can actually have a cargo top in case you are, you know, carrying stuff that are a bit sensitive. And you do have rails and latches to control the movement of products within this particular cargo area. But that's not enough. The next thing is to find the power and the capacity of this Nissan Navara Pro 4X. So join me as I take you through the faces of this Nissan Navara Pro 4X. So guys, today is such a beautiful day. I'm on the Southern Bypass testing this Nissan Navara Pro 4X, the top of the range Nissan Navara, now available in Kenya and Kazi Big Boy Trev. I've been privileged to test it for the first time in Kenya. So what does this Navara have? Remember, Kazi Big Boy Trev is a progressive show. We've done quite a number of Navaras from way back. But the biggest question is, how good is this Pro 4X? Let's start with the performance. Now, the engine up front is a 2.5 litre turbo diesel producing 140 kilowatts and 450 newton meters of torque which when i put my foot down <laughs> it pulls effortlessly you can tell the power band starting from roughly about 1600 rpm and extends all the way to 3500 meaning the torque is concentrated and gives you maximum boost now that power is sent to the four wheels courtesy of a seven speed automatic transmission this transmission by the way has been built by daimler so you can tell you that this particular engine and gearbox marriage is fantastic not only that if you want the manual version you can get a six speed manual but for the pro 4x you have a fully automatic tiptronic functionality that allows you to explore the full potential of the engine and return a good economy figure of roughly 7.8 to 8.1 liters per hundred kilometers which is very very nice and the tank is massive i think it's an 80 liter tank so you can do uh, Nairobi Mombasa quite easily and efficiently now apart from that we talk about the suspension and chassis how does this car feel on tarmac so what Nissan have done with this brand new Navara is to increase uh, insulation the noise vibration and harshness of the car is actually very very nice it's very quiet very subtle drive you don't feel the exterior quite uh, a lot you know and of course you, you can tell for a fact that even the suspension has been uh, redesigned to give you that compliance so on tarmac it feels very direct the steering is very sharp it's rack and pinion and of course front you have double wishbones at the back you have tapered leaf springs and it is very comfortable the tapered leaf springs actually allow for the car to, to soak up all the imperfections there is no moving about at the back and of course the telescopic coil springs which is very very nice i love the fact that they've thought about it and of course during off-road we're going to test the capability of the car off-road and they're going to enjoy it but in terms of safety now safety is a critical element in the pickup uh, this particular vehicle has a mixture of active and passive safety features to ensure that you and the family are safe so when i talk about active features these are features that prevent you from having an accident so what do i mean by that electronic stability control esp the amla program that controls anti-lock plating system which prevents wheel lock traction control and then you do have anti-skid regulation on top of that you have heel descent and heel ascent control which are also uh, part of the repertoire but work on the four-wheel drive front and you do have electronic brake force distribution and brake assist but in case all hell breaks loose then you can rely on the six airbags six airbags that you know deploy and to protect you and your family and of course a five-star rated passenger cell to prevent impact energy from getting into the cabin um, and goes to the harder parts of the chassis to ensure that you and your family are safe while in the Navara, which is extremely critical because you want your family to be safe. Not only that, you have three-point seat belts on all the seats. You have isofix anchors, like I mentioned earlier. And of course, 
headless to prevent whiplash. Now all that is part and parcel of the safety repertoire of this particular Nissan Navara. But the biggest question is how good is the 4x4 segment? Let's find out as you do our off-road section courtesy of cars for big boy truck. So guys, you've just uh, exited the highway. Now it's time for us to test the bundles courtesy of this Nissan Navara Pro 4X. This is a typical road layout of most Kenyan roads when you're going to Ushago or just any other setting. So how does this car perform? So the chassis has been hardened by Nissan. Remember this particular chassis is also shared with the Nissan Terra, which we reviewed on Kazu Big Boy Drive. So that particular platform is very strong. And number two, Nissan has not hardened it to ensure that it actually has a lot of uh, play. The flexing is minimal and suspension is, is able to absorb all the types of surfaces. So let's start with the front. Double wishbones are standard with telescopic shock absorbers. Number one, the work of the wishbone is to ensure that the front sticks to the ground in any surface. At the back, you have tapered leaf springs with variable height and telescopic shock absorbers to ensure that number one, the load area is firmly sitting on the suspension, which allows the tires to sit firmly on the road to prevent that, uh, you know, pickup normally like moving at the back. It's like, it's called fishtailing. And also again, remember the fact that the suspension ab absorbs all the imperfections and gives you sure footedness when you're traversing the beautiful country of Kenya. Now, the suspension as well also corresponds with the chassis. This particular chassis has been hardened. The cross members are made of tensile steel, which are close to 50% stiffer than the previous generation. And the suspension as well, built for Africa. Remember, because the big boy travel was privileged to visit the uh, Nissan Navara plant in South Africa in Silverstone, and they built this kind of Africa for Kenyan conditions. So it's pretty tough and rugged. The feel of the suspension is good, the steering is sharp, and of course, the 4x4 system is fantastic. Now, I'm going to talk about the 4x4 system shortly. Now, in terms of the 4 by 4 nets of this particular vehicle, it's very, very interesting. So it's called Shift on the Fly. It's a system that allows you to select different modes of the 4x4 quite easily. What am I talking about? Number one, so on tarmac, like now, we're selecting it on too high. So basically, it's a fuel efficient mode. Only the rear wheels get the power. Now, when you want traction, or smooth surfaces then you can toggle the dial from 2h to 4h which is 4 high uh, up to speeds of 80 kilometers an hour to give you extra grip especially if you're on slippery surface when it's raining or when it's snow and sand but when all hell breaks loose and you bundle bashing then you need to modulate the traction then you select and you have to stop put the car on neutral then select follow wait for the diff to engage and then you're able to you know proceed with your 4x4 nature so basically that well that's what happens and allows you to modulate traction heel descent control also works very well in that follow uh, segment and of course you're able to uh, you know modulate the throttle so what happens is when you switch on uh, follow the the system dampens the throttle so you don't have wheel spin the abs is taken off and the esp ensure that you don't cut out the power when you're traversing through uh, deep mud or sand or rat so that is the work of this particular system but only that it is able to al allow you to tow up to 3.5 tons quite easily without any stress so this navara has a repertoire of a 4x4 um, adventure if you love adventure then this particular navara pro 4x is the one for you very stylish very capable and of course gives you absolute value for money biggest question is how do you think this particular vehicle will rate against the rivals? Let's head out and do value for money. So guys, that has been the extreme review of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. Stylish, plenty of performance, creature comforts, safety, and of course, absolute value for money. But the biggest question still remains, how good is this car in the Kenyan market? The Nissan Navara Pro 4X is sold and serviced by Nissan Kenya and goes for Kenya shillings 9.95 million VAT inclusive. It comes with a three-year, 100,000 kilometer warranty, whichever comes first. Plus, you can rely on Nissan Kenya's extensive dealer network to keep your Pro 4X in tip-top shape and give you peace of mind. Now, we know that this particular vehicle exists in a space where there's so much competition. Who are the key rivals in this particular segment? You have the Toyota Hilux GR, you have the Ford Ranger Wildtrak, and then you have also the new Isuzu D-Max, the Kipchoge Edition also, it's a very premium product, and many more. We have likes of Mahindra launching brand new products, and Mitsubishi with the L200 Triton. All these are existing in this particular space. So the biggest question still remains, 
you reckon this particular car offers absolute value for money as compared to the rest? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media notes below. We'll get back to you the feedback next week. Well, this is Big Boy Chef signing out. Until next week, drive safe and be safe.